this is this. So, this is equal to time and so this is one half mv squared times time. So this obviously time elapsed between two, two events. Okay. Then we move from, from uh, pure mechanics to special relativity. We want to go to relativistic regime. Then obviously uh, here I have two points in a plane and I can talk about the distance between these two points. Okay. That's that's pure mechanics. But now supposing I am boarding on a on a chopper, on a helicopter, and I have a pistol or a gun in my hand. Now I shoot it once and after some time I shoot it again. So these are two different events, and the separation in these two events uh, is called as the interval. Okay. Interval between these two events. Okay. Very good. So <coughs> Now, uh, so this would be the time elapsed, and this is. I'm just giving you some 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 motivational things. So I can write that x m is proportional to m into c into integral d s. D s is the length of the interval. Okay, and we will see that this is proportional, but this proportionality factor comes out to be equal to minus one times mc times uh, ds s1 to s2 and so now d tau is the eigen time Eigen time and this is equal to ds upon c. Eigen time is also called as the proper time. So, what is a proper time? If I am having my batch on my hand, then this is the proper time for me. Okay. So, I left frame. Okay. When I attach the the batch. To the person, then the this time measured by me 